This was a fire ass episode, bro. This oh, shit went literally. Yo. yo, I I had tingles on my back. I cried, bro. Like Juan, bro, you're a fucking shit, bro. beast, bro. Beast, bro. Yo, There's shit. still more to talk about that I had. Like all this shit, I had no time. We didn't talk about it at all. I think that's gonna be for another episode, though. I'm gonna say. Oh, I know, yo. If you, yo, you ever want to come back, bro? We're definitely gonna send the invites, bro. You ever want to come back? You're definitely more than welcome. Any fucking time. Yes, sir, bro. Fire, fire. fired. Sorry. I'm gonna call guys, this shit free thinking, bro. If I, yo, if I somehow got fucking, I don't know. If I somehow got Bill Gates, bro, and he was like, I want to be in the messy room. And my guy Juan was like, Hey, let me be in this week. And Bill Gates was last week. I'm a Message Bill Gates and say, hey, we're doing your episode next week, buddy. <laughs> uh, that's, that's how great the episode is, bro. <laughs> yeah, you, you got the boot, buddy. You know what no, I'm I saying? love talking to y'all, bro. You guys are real smart individuals, man. We need thank more, you, thank we need, you, bro. We need you more intellectuals out there. You know what I mean? We need more free thinkers. We need people out there who, who question things. Thank you, know, you who, thank you, bro. That ability. I appreciate y'all having me. Appreciate, appreciate you, bro, taking your time, bro. I know you're a busy man, bro, with the... Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing photography skills, the amazing videography skills, the amazing filmmaking skills, ladies and gentlemen. And he's a scholar, ladies and gentlemen. He's going for his fucking master's. Yo, I thought we were going to talk about cameras for sure, bro. That's literally what I, I thought we were going to talk about cameras and videos and shit. Respect this man, ladies and gentlemen. He's a fucking we busy guy. We fucking books, bro. He's obviously going to the gym. He's doing, he's doing it all, ladies and gentlemen. This man's Jack D's, bro. Smart as fuck, bro. This, this man's the guy, ladies and gentlemen. So you got to follow him on IG, bro. You got you to gotta go on his website, bro. You got to go on his YouTube, bro. You got to, you just got to, you got to follow this guy. You got to talk to him, bro. You see him on the street, you got to say hello because he's a fucking beast, ladies and gentlemen. Birdman and Swim. Birdman. Yeah. Yeah, if y'all want books, if y'all want books, I'm going to send books y'all away. You know, I yeah, want him Definitely, bro. I, sure. I just. Recommendations. Bro, I just, uh, I have a book, uh, they, ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, sometimes my packages go missing, so I got to, you know, put, send them to my cousin's house, but whatever. I got a book at my cousin's crib, bro, and um, it's fucking, it's awesome, bro, and it's uh, Edward Snowden's uh, book that he released last year, talking about all the fucking shit that's happened. That's definitely something I'm going to be diving into, bro, but send books my way, bro. I'm always trying to read them. Actually, yo, Jason, you know what you should read, bro? I think you're going to like, since you like reading about science and stuff. You should read. Have you heard of Neil deGrasse Tyson? Yes, sir. You should, Go. You should, he came out with a new book uh, a little while ago, Astrophysics for Dummies. Okay. Very good book. Astrophysics? Oh, okay. Astro, okay. Like, Astrophysics for Dummies, bro. Astro, okay. No, no, Astro, is it? Yeah, no, Astrophysics not, is like... That's not the name. It's Astrophysics for People in a Hurry. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh. Astrophysics for People in a Hurry. Neil deGrasse Tyson came out with it. Incredible book. Incredible book. Here's the thing. Here's the beauty of Astro. I'll leave you guys with one more idea. And I think a lot of people realize this. There's always that constant battle between, you know, between science and religion and philosophy, blah, blah. You know, people are always debating what's what. Astrophysics did a lot for me. Because in that and molecular, that and molecular physics, because of what it did, it breaks down all these ideas that religion talks about, about God, about us, about where we come from. And you realize when you think about like Christianity or Islam and then you and then you cross that with East Asian philosophy, with Taoism, with Buddhism, and you cross that with actual physical science, knowledge, you put that all together and you realize at the end of the day, it's all the same fucking shit that everybody's talking about. It is literally word for word the exact same thing people are just saying in, in different manners. But it's all the same. And astrophysics was something really cool that tied it all in. But, so I, I think you would like it a lot. It's very all right, cool. bro. I'll check it out. Jason, buy the book, read it, then send it my way, bro. All right. And we'll talk right. about my next podcast. No, I'm not getting <laughs> no more books, bro. Why not? Because you lost my book. By accident, bro. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? By I'm going bu- to buy you another one, that's bro. Lose, that's still losing it, before, whether it was accident or on purpose. You want to take one of my you, books, How do you bro? lose something on purpose, bro? You just left it somewhere and didn't want to go get it again. What the hell? I didn't, bro. I didn't, bro. It was by accident. Dude, huh? I've had, you know how many books I've given out that I never got back? That's why yeah, I'm Yeah, exactly, bro. That's the I beauty didn't read of books, it yet. bro. I didn't, all right, I'll read it first. Book, I only books, give you books, books I've already read. Books are, are meant to travel, bro. I agree. And you're, I, and you're. If you're, someone borrows you a book, I hate when people don't give me my book back. Yo, it's just, I didn't get but to you, read you it gotta yet. you got to love that. I, yet. All right, that's my fault, bro. We were going to <laughs> Vegas, bro. Six hour flight. I didn't know it was my first time on a plane. I didn't know I could sleep six hours on a fucking flight. I thought I was gonna read that whole book. I'm sorry, bro. That's a lot that of book. Things happen, bro. That's a lot happen, of book, bro. bro. 
Yo, but ladies and gentlemen. Yo, for sure. It's time for the messy moment. Messy moment. Messy moment. Messy, messy, messy moment. Oh, man, ladies and gentlemen. What can I say, ladies and gentlemen? This guy is a fucking beast. If you, if you don't think he's a beast after every the great the greatest shit that we've we've we said, bro. Out of all that shit we said, and it was so fucking good. If you still don't think he's a fucking beast, you're off it. You're you're. <laughs> I don't know what the you're fuck is going You're on cloud nine. You're on cloud nine. You're on cloud like 89, bro. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> oh, man. We're in the messy moment, ladies and gentlemen. Messy moment is a time where we can reflect and we dive into the podcast and the amazing conversation we have with Juan. This man's a beast, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and he's. He, I'm glad I met him. I'm glad I met him. I learned so much. I'm glad he was on my show. He took the time to be you know, on this show that we, me and Jason love so much. I'm glad he took the time, and I'm glad... It was important. It was awesome, and it was straight cool. Boom. Um, yeah, bro. So I'm yeah. gonna do it first. Oh. Let, let me no, go. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go first. So <clears throat> Juan, first of all, bro, that shit was fucking crazy, bro. I really was not expecting that to go travel so quickly, bro. Like it was literally like I finally got to my deepest thoughts, like within so the, the short amount of time, bro. But it was fun. Uh, I'm gonna highlight one thing that you said though. It was. Um, if you find your purpose, you owe it to yourself to go and pursue it. Because, bro, it's not easy to find your purpose. Not every day that you wake up and you're like, yo, this is exactly what I want to do. So when you feel that shit inside, bro, like I finally found it for myself, bro. When I was when I was reading Tesla, bro, and I realized I like I love to think, bro, and I love to I want to give my my stupid shit that I think of in my head. I want to give it to the world. I was like, bro, that's my purpose. I want to pursue science, bro. Now I've just been, I wake up every day and I feel, bro, I step. That step is because I told my foot I wanted to go there and I know it's because I wanted to go there. That shit's not easy. So when you find that purpose, bro, please, for the love of God and for the love of yourself and your own sanity, it's what's going to make you happy. So pursue it, bro. Do it up, bro. That's the... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, bring back to the world greatness. Preach, son. Boom. Boom. Yes, right, oh, baby. man. Ladies and gentlemen, bro. Once again, yo, Juan, thank you, bro. It was awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to follow him on everything. Yo, Juan, let them know where they can follow you on the IG, the Twitter, whatever social media you got, bro. The website, bro. You got to let them know real fast, bro. Sure, sure, for sure. Uh, my Instagram, Juan Curado Visuals. Um, I'm sure my team over here will probably, you guys will put it in there. Yeah, Boom. for sure, bro, for sure. And then my website, JuanEJurado.com. Um, that's really pretty much all I use. Um, I don't, I don't use YouTube too often. If I post anything, I'm sure you'll find it on my Instagram. So yeah, boom. But even if he brand, doesn't bro. post that often, you still gotta give him that follow, ladies and gentlemen. As always, you gotta like, subscribe, and comment some great shit. Cause, ladies and gentlemen, we just bring you nothing but the heavy fucking hitters. This, this is the perfect example of why we bring the heavy hitters. But the messy moment, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, man, I, there's just so many. Every time, every time, there's just so many messy moments. But my messy moment for this episode is how I felt. How I felt during this whole episode. This episode was amazing. So in the episode, I talk about that. Kendrick Lamar is my favorite hip-hop artist, right? He's my favorite artist. Um, because the way he makes me feel, right? And the way, like, whenever I listen to his music, I learn something new and I'm, and I'm engaging. And, oh, man, it, 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 it sparks fireworks in my head. I'm, I'm going crazy. I'm learning some shit. I'm, I'm, I'm growing as a human, right? That's how I felt during this episode. It was, it was unexpected, like Jason was saying. I thought we were going to talk about fucking cameras. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. There's beauty in the, in the, in the art that Juan does. But that's what I thought we were going to talk about, right? And then we dive into this amazing, world-changing conversation that has inspired me in many, every which way. Like, I want to fucking... I want to do some push-ups and shit. That's how much energy I have. <laughs> We're just talking, you know what I mean? Like, I'm. This is fucking awesome, ladies and gentlemen. I I can't thank Juan enough, man. Thank you, bro, for being on my show, uh, me and Jason's show. Thank you for just being you, bro, and thank you for just taking the time for. Yo, you're it's 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 awesome, bro. You're thank you. That's my messy moment, ladies and gentlemen. 
appreciate that. Appreciate y'all. First, I want to say I appreciate you guys for having me. You know, y'all, y'all my homies. You guys, I'm sure, glad sure. to have you guys as friends. You know, and I'm glad you guys are someone that I can talk about these things because as as the current situation in our day and age is, not a lot of people want to talk about things like this. So I'm good you guys put it out there, especially on the flat platform for others to hear. Thank you. Um, I think for me, my messy moment would probably be um, what I said earlier, where I was talking about the greatest enemy to mankind, our number one foe, ladies and gentlemen, is just misfortune. You feel me? Just common misfortune. It comes and goes. It takes away, it takes away what it pleases. It'll take away your car tomorrow, it'll take away your house the next day, it'll take away your wife the next day, it'll take away whatever the fuck it wants. You feel me? So us as individuals, if we want to find happiness, we want to find value in something, don't find value in something that misfortune can take away. Don't find value in money because money can be gone tomorrow. Don't find value in, in, physical, in physical amenities because those things can be taken away the next day. Find value in something that has stability, that has a foundation. Find value in yourself, in your mind, and in that purpose that you believe that you are here on this planet for. You know why? Because if you find that misfortune, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be very hard for it to take away. If misfortune wants to take away your mind, then it's going to have to take away you. And yeah, that day will come when you die. Sure, it comes for everybody. But at least you have a few good days on earth here before that happens. You feel me? Ladies and gentlemen. Boom, bro. Ladies and gentlemen. Boom, like Jason says. Oh, that was, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Fucking awesome, bro. Yeah, wait till this man's book comes out, bro. I'm gonna be I reading know. that shit, bro. I'm reading it like 8,000 times, bro. You're a fucking beast, bro. Oh, man. It was man. a great time, bro. Personal copies. <laughs> it's, bro, it's a, look. It's signed, a, bro, please. <laughs> signed, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, bro. It's the, the saddest time of the show. It's the end of the show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> As always, you gotta like subscribe and comment some great shit you gotta follow Ooh. us on the ig our messy rooms you our gotta follow rooms. us on the twitter our messy, our messy rooms. rooms you gotta subscribe to us on youtube My on youtube a mess. Uh, I guess. <laughs> you're, you're probably watching us on this shit yeah, or yeah, something yeah, yeah. whatever know. whatever um you gotta follow us on anything you gotta follow juan on uh, everything you gotta i'm telling you ladies and gentlemen you gotta like subscribe on everything that he does you gotta comment on all the great shit he does and just say hi if you see him on the streets because he's a fucking awesome dude, ladies and gentlemen. But that's the wrap of the show. Check you later. Check you later. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll check you later. Boom! Check you later. That's the wrap ah! of the show.